Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Linda Frank. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Linda. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't. We are all about everything good things. Do you understand? Sometimes we bring you sit down videos and we talk about marriages and relationships and we keep advising each other. And sometimes we bring you faith related content. We can do relationship. You can actually call us a re your relationship coach your favorite relationship coach with the touch of jesus you understand yes and sometimes we bring you guys lifestyle content as well so in today's video i'm just gonna be quickly talking to our nigerian mothers and what they should stop doing in 2024 these also apply to other women from other countries but i literally want to talk to nigerian moms and this is because Mm, during my stay here in Nigeria, I've been able to see one or two things that Nigerian mothers have been doing that is not so sweet and I just felt I need to come and talk to you guys. Okay, so at number one, Nigerian mother should stop looking and camped just to appear hardworking. So guys, in case you don't know, if you haven't visited Nigeria, there are these normal Nigeria Yoruba women, Igbo women, Auchi women. <laughs> Benin women who just feel that for some reason if they look camped it will appear as if they are not hardworking like you must look very dirty smelling all sweaty just for people to know that ah, mama nonso is always very hardworking you know? mama nonso is always very hardworking that woman she can she can farm that woman she can fetch water no don't do that we know you can do it but can you please shower and just wear something clean and smell nice then you can go and fetch the water because you passing us and we have to be blocking our nose please please now we go to buy something in the market and the woman buying something next to you is smelling very funny or the woman you are going to buy something from you want to patronize the woman and the woman is smelling like fish it's smelling like uh, what like crayfish it's smelling like dried fish like smoked goat like catfish no it's not done okay so they have to check on that try and wear bras to get your confidence now when you give birth your breasts tend to fall so when you're not wearing bra there are some people that have even given birth so many times that their breasts have become very flat when they're not wearing bra and it normally uh, tampers with somebody's confidence so nigerian women or nigerian wives can you try and be wearing bra this thing of walking along the road when your breasts they are hitting side by side please we are tired we don't want to see it again do you understand be patient with your kids now there are some nigerian moms that are not patient with their children they'll be quarreling their children as if they are quarreling a grown-up and in your mind you think the kids are understanding what you're saying but they are not actually understanding what you're saying because you have been blabbing you're talking to yourself do you understand so that needs to change this 2024 plus be very prayerful but also put in their work. Now, there are all these Nigerian moms, some of them that believe that anything is prayer, 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 prayer. You cannot only pray. Do you understand? But you need to also put in their work because if you are praying for God to bring up your children in a godly way, but it's Sunday, you don't carry your children to church. If you have midweek service, you don't carry them to church. You don't associate your children with children in church that used to be going to church, that used to go to church like every day. Do you understand? You don't teach them the ways of God. You don't have time to even read Bible for them. They don't even hear you listening to sermons in the house. They don't see you watching sermons on your telly. And you want them to grow in God's way. How? Children learn best from copying what they see. So if you want your children to follow God, you have to go to church. Tell them you are going to church to see. To hear the word of God. Okay. Put someone on TV. Tell them now I'm listening to the word of God. They will know mommy used to listen to the word of God. And the other day my son was telling me. Like you, you used to, you have, you, you always pray all the time, all the time, all the time. Because he knows me. So it will be easier for him to grow up in a godly way. Because he knows that my mommy used to pray all the time. So it will be easier for him to pray. My son can pray. My daughter is one year, six months, and these days, if we are praying, she will close her eyes to and she will be the one to say if, the loudest amen, as if she's the one that was praying. She will just be mumbling her things, then she will say, amen, she's learning it. So there's no other way to teach kids apart from putting in the work. If you want your kids to perform in school, 
you have to stay with them and teach them how to do their homework. There are some parents that they don't even have their ch uh, children to do homework at all, at all, at all. Like five days a week in school and four days out of it, you have never sat down with your kid to do homework. Why? At least if four days you sat down to do the homework, it's only one day is missing. You can be pardoned. Even your kid will understand. Probably you are unwell, but make it a routine that you're doing what you want them to do so that they will grow in a way that you want them to grow into. So be prayerful, but also be putting in the work. Stop keeping place for visitors when you serve your husband food with old clothes. Now, this one, many women are at, what do we call it? Many women are guilty of this offense. They will go to the market, yes. They will buy beautiful pots, beautiful plates, beautiful cups, beautiful jugs, beautiful everything. But when you come to their house, you see that it's in their kitchen cupboard, they are hiding it. They are not using it to serve their, their husbands. They are waiting for the day when that DG or Mami Gio will come to visit them. They are waiting for the day when they have a new baby and they are doing child education. It shouldn't be like that. Moms, stop it. Nigerian moms, stop it. Because Nigerian moms, most of them are so close to their pastors more than they are close to their husbands. They respect their pastors more than they respect their husbands. When they see their pastor, they say, Daddy, they will prostrate him. Daddy, oh my daddy, yes daddy. God, your daddy will say, God bless you. Bless you, sir. Yes, daddy. But when they go home, they don't daddy their husbands. They don't prostrate to their husbands. When pastor comes to their house, they can bring the best of pots to cook for them, the best of plates. Your husband is watching. He's watching how you're treating him. He's watching what you're using to dish food for him. He's seeing everything. Do you understand? So, your children are also watching and they're also seeing. Tomorrow they will go and get married. They will now be dishing food on very old plastic plates for, for their husbands. Do you understand? Next point is keep your kids' secrets. Do not overshare it if they told you in confidence. Now, this... Parents who are guilty of this, uh, I think even my mother is guilty of this. Like these days, if you want to tell my mommy something very, very secretive, I don't know if it comes with old age or something, because she used not to be like that. But these days she's like that. That if you want to tell her something in confidence, you have to give her a stern warning that you should not hear it outside until the time is right to share it. Because she just open her mouth and be sharing it. And you're like, I thought I told you in confidence. So if I cannot confide in my own mother to keep my secret, then it means I'm alone in this world. Who will keep it? Because fathers don't have the capacity to keep secret. They'll be just with their brothers. They will tell them, ah, my child say this. My, my pekin is doing this one. My pekin, my pekin is doing this. They will be sharing. They're oversharing. Fathers have that problem. But these days, it's like some mothers are also beginning to have it. And it's not true. We, your kids, we don't like it. Do you understand? If we shared it in confidence, if we told you Stanley, don't share it. Please don't. Don't let us hear it from someone else's mouth when the time is not right for it to be shared. <laughs> Stop telling your kids to fight back when bullied in school. So this one, I've experienced it a lot since I came to Nigeria and took my son to a new school. Uh, you'd see that when he comes home and says somebody bullied him or somebody beat him, the first thing Nigerian mothers will tell him, why didn't you beat them back? If they beat you, you beat them back. Even their cousins will be telling them, if they beat you, they beat them back. How can a boy, big boy like you come home to be reporting that somebody beat you? Is it right? It's not. Because if they beat him and they beat them back and they are stronger than him, he's going to collect more than just a beating. He's going to collect a broken bone, lose his teeth, bleed. Do you understand? So it's not right. Nigerian mothers have to stop. Because me, I used to tell my son that if somebody beats you in school, go and report to your auntie. Say your auntie is there. Report. That's why they are there. And that's why I did one video, I think two months ago, where I said, I went to his school, I saw someone literally bullying him in front of me, and the madam was there, because I went to pick him. That was pick up time. So the kids whose parents have not come here, they have to stay in class. So I was talking to the woman about something and I saw the kid bullying my son in front of her very eyes and she was giving it a blind eye. And I just picked her from there. I was like, I cannot overlook this one. What rubbish. If we are entrusting our kids to you, 
and we expect you to take care of them and something like this is happening in your very eye and you're pretending not to see it then that means my kid is not safe with you right so i think that's why most nigerian women are telling their kids to fight back because they feel like teachers even in nigeria are very reluctant to fight for your kids rights which should not be like that because from where i may come from 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 kenya where i come from they don't do that teachers discipline their kids you cannot just bully somebody and go scot free it's in nigeria that you hear there are some groups in school they are known bullies and nobody is is beating them if i give you suspension if i give you suspension for four weeks and you stay at home and your parents are not taking it lightly with you if you come back to school you will not be able to bully anybody in fact it is you they will be bullying but it's like it's not applicable in nigeria because even the most stubborn kids in school they don't actually give them suspension all they will tell you is they are very there are three very stubborn boys in that class everybody knows them we are even tired of them how how and this is elementary class and you're tired of them are you kidding me right now and you cannot summon their parents and if they refuse to to adjust give them suspension let them stay home if they stay home and their parent is not taking it lightly with them at home they will change at least from where i grew up from that's what they used to do if you're thinking you're too much for your teachers they will give you suspension for two weeks if you come back and you are doing anyhow they knock you another suspension if you come back the third time and doing it now, they give you an expulsion. By the time you, they, they chase you from three different schools, you'll come your head down and sit in one place. You know? So another thing, stop pretending to be okay with something when you are not just because you feel your opinion doesn't matter. Now this is, you see this a lot among Nigerian women. Why? Because in Nigeria, it's as if women opinion don't matter it's as if women are voiceless okay but from where i come from we do have a voice and that's why i i just love kenya i just love my country so much we do have a voice women are very opinionated women are very very opinionated even our uh, members of parliament women women reps and all that they are very very opinionated there are those people that they, they, they can stand their ground if they know that this is the right thing it doesn't matter who is talking against it they will stand for it so nigeria women stop pretending to be okay with something i know that in marriage you have to submit is in your bible right but the thing is submission doesn't mean you don't have opinion submission means you give your opinion then you let you, you you let it in the hands of the man to, to, to decide what are you people going for. He can tell you this, you tell him, I was I was not thinking like this, I was thinking like this, so but that's my opinion though. You can decide to either go with it or you can decide to use your own. Do you get? So if you decide to go with his own and it backfires on him, you come back and use your own. That is submission to me. If my understanding of submission is not correct, can you comment down below? Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> so thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you're watching up to here and you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please kindly consider subscribing and turning on your notification. And let's meet in our next video. Boom. Bye-bye, guys.